All right, this is the Algebra 2 Practice ELC, question number 6, and it reads, which table of values best represents the function below? And it gives you the equation f of x equals 6 times 0 0.2 raised to the x power, okay? f of x is just function notation for y. So f of x and y mean the same thing. So I'm just going to rewrite this equation as y equals 6 times 0 0.2 raised to the x power, okay? Well, every single one of our answer choices, the first x value that they plug in is 0. So I think that we should also plug in 0 and see what we come up with, okay? So if we have y equals 6 times 0 0.2, and we're supposed to be raising it to the x power, well, our first x value that we have is 0. So that's why we're going to plug in 0 here for the x. Well, 0 0.2 raised to the 0 power, or anything for that matter raised to the 0 power, is just 1. So this whole thing here just became a 1. Hallelujah. Okay? Well, now we have 6 times 1, which gives us 6. So when we plugged in a 0 for our x, we got out a 6 for our y. So if we look at choice f, we plugged in a 0, we should have got, we got out a 1, but we got out a 6, so this can't be correct. Choice G, we plugged in a 0 and we got out a 0 0.2, well that's not correct because we just found out that we got out a 6, so choice G can't be correct either. Well with our other two answer choices, we have H and J, we plugged in a 0, we got out a 6, and we plugged in a 0 and we got out a 6, so either one of these can still be correct right now, okay? Well, in these two answer choices, the next x value that they plugged in was 0 0.25, okay? So now let's see what happens when we plug in 0 0.25 into our x. So if we have y equals 6 times 0 0.2 raised to the 0.25 power, again, you can use your calculator to help you figure out what 0 0.2 raised to the 0.25 power is, okay? So if you turn on your calculator, and type in parenthesis 0 0.2 close your parenthesis and then use your carrot here or your little hat some people say a hat some people say carrot I don't exactly know why they say carrot but if you press this button it'll make you have an exponent and if you type in 0.25 and then enter it'll give you this value here it gives you this decimal 0.668 okay well we all knew here we were supposed to multiply that value by 6. So we figured out what this was, and then we now need to multiply that value by 6. So if we multiply by 6 and press enter, you're going to get 4.01. Well, choice H, we plugged in 0 0.25 and we got 4, which is awfully close to 4.01. And then J, when we plugged in a 0.25, we got out a 1.2, which isn't entirely close to 4. So J is not going to be the correct answer, so we know that H should be our correct answer for this problem. And if you guys, for another method of doing this problem, in math there are more than one way, there's more than one way to do a problem, there might be a slightly easier way that you could do this problem. If you go on your calculator and you go to Y equals and you plug in this equation that they gave us here at the beginning, if you plug in 6 parenthesis 0 0.2 close parenthesis raised to the x power and then if you press table this button here so you're gonna have to press second and then graph it'll give you a table of values okay so when we plugged in a 0 we should have gotten out of 6 and then when we plugged in a 1 it says that we should have gotten out of 1.2 so it automatically gives you your table of values here so again, you can start matching up what happens in your graph. When you plugged in a 0, we got a 6. Well, this one we got 0, 1, 0, 0 0.2. So neither one of those can be correct still. Well, the next value that it gives us on here is 1. So we can look and see what our 1 should be in both of these choices, H and J. Well, choice 1 was 1 1.2, which is exactly what our calculator tells us. And then here, choice 1, or when we plugged in a 1, we got a 0 0.01. So we still know that choice H is going to be our correct answer.